Hello everybody, Morbtron here. I want to just make a brief video while I'm shooting some stuff in the face here quick about uh, why I am no longer going to be streaming on YouTube um, and where you can find me live streaming uh, from now on. Um, so I'm still going to be making content on YouTube. Still going to be doing my regular uh, videos uploaded. I just will not be live streaming here on YouTube. Uh, so don't worry about that. If you can't watch me on Twitch, whether it's blocked on like a school computer or something, whatever, I'll still be here. Don't worry about it. You just won't be able to watch me for hours at a time. Unless you watch multiple videos. Um, so, the main reason for that, and really the... I don't want to call it the straw that broke the camel's back, but more of the telephone pole, or the giant tree, or the thousand pound weight, whatever you want to call it. The, the thing that made me decide to hard switch from YouTube back to Twitch for streaming is um, a couple days ago at this point there was something that YouTube did not on purpose but they did it without remorse to some smaller gaming channels um, where they basically deleted the channels with no reason given the channel that I follow that I subscribed to that had this issue happen to them um, they got an email at about 2.30 in the morning their time, they live in Australia saying that their, their channel was deleted due to a uh, community strike or community infringement in which they had zero warnings and zero strikes against their channel uh, at all and uh, family friendly content no swearing no children in videos, it's just survival games and having a good time. And there's no reason why his channel should have been taken down, uh, and it was. And so he figured, oh, this must have been some sort of mistake. He filed a appeal, um, which you can do, and which YouTube supposedly looks through manually, uh, which wasn't the case. It was automatically rejected by the same AI that uh, decided that his channel needed to no longer exist in the first place. And um, he was basically, well, screwed. Um, he made a couple tweets about it, and luckily, by just the grace of Twitter, I guess, some much larger content creators found the tweet and started, like, retweeting it, sharing it out, just trying to get as much attention for uh, the smaller channel as possible until YouTube basically was forced to respond um, in which they looked into it and after about 8 or so hours 36 hours in total that this guy's channel was no longer a thing um, he got his channel back but YouTube basically said, hey, after looking into it, your channel uh, is not in violation of our community guidelines, and as such, we have reinstated your channel. Um, but they didn't say why it happened. They didn't say sorry. They didn't apologize. Um, they didn't even give any hint as to why their system decided to delete his channel in the first place. Um, and even though they had reinstated his channel, Every single one of his videos had been demonetized from the from the encounter. Um, so he had to go through all of his videos and remonetize every single one of them manually. Um, and he's had his channel up for probably four or five years. So it's a lot of videos to manually go through and make sure that they're, you know, not only still public but also fixing them and making sure you can monetize them. Um, because mo being able to monetize a video isn't just making money off of them. The way that the YouTube algorithm seems to work is if YouTube can make money off of somebody watching your video, aka it being monetized with ads on it, YouTube's algorithm is much more likely to show that to people that are searching for, you know, whatever it is your video is about, uh, rather than a video that they cannot make money off of, that doesn't have ads on it. So the fact that uh, having your content be monetized 
not only is it a benefit to the creator because they can make a little bit of money off of it through the ads, but it's also beneficial for YouTube um, because, you know, they make money. And so a video that they can't make money off of, they're not going to show. It shouldn't be that way, but unfortunately it is. Uh, that was kind of the the, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, you can call it. Um, you know, basically watching his vlog video that he did about it. Um, you know, basically he said, you know, for 36 hours, he didn't have a channel. And although it's it, it's hard to make YouTube or to make content creation your, you know, your career... And I don't know his particular situation. I don't know if it was his actual career or not. Um, but he said basically, you know, it's content creation had been a passion of his for many, many years, and all of his work was just gone. All of it. It's like he never even existed. And having that all just being taken away from you for no reason um, basically put him in a very dark place for that 36 hours. And that's, that's why it kind of made me think, like, I really need to diversify where my content is, just in case something like that does happen. I don't feel, you know, completely, you know, up poop creek without a paddle, let's say. Um, so that's why I'm streaming on Twitch from now on. Um, so making content on both platforms rather than one over the other. Um, so, and I am... A Twitch affiliate. I have been for a while. I just haven't been streaming over on Twitch. Um, so a link is going to be in the description of this video. You can, you know, hit the follow button over there, and you'll get notified for when I go live on Twitch. That sort of thing. Um, and then there's the, the usual Twitch things. You know, there's emotes and stuff that you can use if you're subscribed to me. That sort of thing. Blah blah. I don't have very many emotes right now. Um, because I don't really have much as far as subscribers because I haven't really streamed over there. I've, I've streamed one night so far on Twitch. Um, so I have, you know, my community to rebuild over there. But I'm hoping that some of you, um, and I know that, that did happen, um, some of you came over and watched me on Twitch, so thank you for that. And um, stream schedule is going to stay the same, just on a different platform. So that's twitch.tv slash Morbtron. Um, I've already got a fancy overlay, that sort of thing, for Twitch. Um, way better than I had on YouTube, so there's that as well. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. So I didn't want to make it this long, but it ended up being about eight minutes anyway. Um, so I'm not going to do my regular outro. Um, but if you want to watch me uh, live anymore... You know, it's going to have to be on Twitch, not here on YouTube. Um, but have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time.